Hi everybody, it's Miss Doyle, and I'm here to give you a quick tour of your Mac as you um, as you start getting used to it. So, when you turn it on, you will get to this screen, which is your desktop, just as you would have on a Windows computer. Here are some important things that you need to know. The Apple icon in the top left corner will get you to your shutdown and sleep buttons. Here to log on and shut down. Here to put your computer to sleep so you, do, so you know it's battery. You would click force quit if one of your apps freezes and you can't get out of it. It's like control alt delete on a Windows computer. You click force quit and, quit and then you close the app. System preferences here is where you find your computer settings. Think of it like preferences on um, system preferences on your iPhone or your Android phone. Everything that you need to play uh, to customize your computer is going to be in here. So, a couple of other things. Your dock, which has a lot of your common applications, is down here. Things that you use frequently, like um, Google Chrome, for example. To, um, and any documents that you have open that you're working with, but then aren't, aren't, aren't currently up on your screen will be right here over to the right. Now let's say you use Apple Music a lot and you want to keep it in your dock. You right click and on a Mac you right click by hitting control and the mouse button and simultaneously. And then you would say options, keep in dock. And that will keep that application, whatever it is, down where you can see it always on your dock. Let me show you that again. If you want to pin an application that you use always to this bar at the bottom of your screen, say Google Chrome, you right click, which is control click on your Mac, or you can click with two fingers. Then you hit options and go to keep in dock. Okay? And that will keep it where you need it. Now, up here, this, by the way, this gray bar is called the menu bar. Um, this is your, this obviously shows you the amount of internet signal you have. This is your battery gauge. You need to charge your computer every night and bring your charger with you to school. That's really important because you will need it in school. You will, you will need it for my class and Ms. Bly's class and Ms. Hamler's class and all your other teachers. Okay. Then the other important thing you need to know, two, actually two more important things up here. See this magnifying glass here? This is like Google for your, for your computer. If you hit the magnifying glass and say you're looking for, um, for an English essay and you have titled it Night Essay. Sorry, that's my parachute in the background. Um, whatever you type in, if it saves on your computer, it will find it for you. So think of it like Google for your, for your computer. That is right up here. This magnifying glass here. Okay? Now, over to the far right where you have these three little dots. This is your do not disturb center. And this is important because... This shows you your notifications, but also um, this is where you can put on where you can put your computer on do not disturb so that your so that your texts do not come through while you're in class, which tends to really annoy your teachers. So what you would do is just hit the do not disturb button, which is not showing up on mine, but it will show up on yours, I promise. Okay, that, that's the notification center. And again, I can show you that in class. Now, I think that's good for this video. Next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Bishop email so it comes right where you can easily see it. Okay, peace everybody, bye.